I was here at the end of Piney Point Road two weeks ago and the water was pretty clear. I was here again last week and the water had a little brown tint to it, but today the water is very brown. Now, some say they believe it's stirred up from recent rains, but researchers say they believe it's not just a coincidence. It was just a dark brown. That dark brown water is found in some of the highest concentrations of contaminated water released from Piney Point. It, it's not a smoking gun, but it's certainly a gun in terms of you know, cause and effect. This Piney Point water flow model developed by USF researchers shows the forecasted flow of more than 200 million gallons of contaminated water that was pumped into Tampa Bay to prevent the collapse of a leaking gypsum stack. It's going to be a continued sloshing back and forth and a slow decrease in the overall concentration. Slow, as in it could take months before it's flushed out of the bay. The model shows the water moving back and forth near Port Manatee and the mouth of Tampa Bay, even creeping its way towards St. Pete and up the Manatee River. That sets back, you know, all of the things that we've done to try to clean the bay. Researchers say right now the water is not toxic. There have been no fish gills, and it is still okay to use this area of the bay for recreation. However, they say the dark brown water is concerning. Usually uh, April is has the best water clarity. So it's very unusual to have that murky water in that area. Their hope is that it will quickly disperse and become diluted, but they say that depends on the wind. For now, several organizations continue monitoring the water quality for any changes. In Manatee County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.